Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, you will be learning how to use slope-intercept form in order to graph a linear equation. We're going to take a look at example number one on the website, and the equation that we're being asked to graph is y equals 2x plus 4. When we look at any linear equation, if it is written in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b form. Now this is just using generic variables. The m refers to the slope and the b refers to the y-intercept. So if your equation is written in this form that starts with y equals, then it is written in slope-intercept form. This is the easiest form to graph because we instantly know the slope and the y-intercept which will allow us to quickly graph the line. In this equation, y equals 2x plus 4, as I said, m is the slope. So in this e equation, 2 takes the place of m. So 2 is our slope of the line. The b represents the y-intercept, and in this equation, 4 takes the place of b. So 4 is the y-intercept. Now hopefully these two words are familiar. The y-intercept is simply the point that you're going to start with that is on the y-axis. So it is simply a point on the y-axis. Since 4 is the y-intercept, our point is 0, 4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plot that point first because that is our first step. The first step is to find a point on the y-axis, and it must be on the y-axis in order to be the y-intercept. So here's the point 0, 4, which is my y-intercept, which also happens to be b in the equation. Once I plot my first point, then I can use the slope, or the set of directions that we talked about with slope, to find the next point. Now the reason I said a set of directions is because we know that the slope of a line is actually the rise over run. And remember, these are the directions that we're going to use to get to the next point on the line. So my slope just happens to be 2. And since it is a whole number, I'm going to write it as a fraction by putting it over 1. Because again, 2 divided by 1 is still 2 so I haven't changed the value of the slope. The rise tells us how far to go up or down. Since 2 is positive, I'm going to rise up. The run tells us how far to go left or right. Since 1 is positive, I'm going to go to the right. So from our point 0, 4 on the y-axis, we're going to rise 2, so I'm going to count up 1, 2, and I'm going to run 1. So I'm going to go over to the right 1, that is where I'm going to plot my next point, which is at 1, 6. From here, I'm going to use my slope again to find the next point. So I'm going to rise 2, count up 1, 2, and over 1. So I'm going to plot my next point at 2, 8. And I could do this again if I chose to, but I'm going to stop here because I have three points that I can then draw a straight line through to create the graph for y equals 2x plus 4. So use a ruler, draw your line through your three points, and you can put an arrow on both ends of your line to show that this line does go on in both directions. And this is the line that represents the equation y equals 2x plus 4. Again, if it's written in slope-intercept form, you know the y-intercept, which is one point, and you can find any other point on the line using the slope, rise over run. This concludes example number one.